Hello YouTube and welcome back. So today I kind of want to talk about the path environment variable. It's a system environment variable that is heavily leveraged by multiple languages. Uh, the reason I want to bring it up is I called it out in my setup video for Python pip and Pygame to emphasize that when you're installing Python you should click the button that says add it to the environment path. And I kind of want to go over why you want this and how to fix it if you missed over that step without having to reinstall Python. So the first thing I want to do is show you what it looks like when you don't have Python in your environment path. So we're going to run Python dot or Python dash dash version. And this should return the version of Python if it's set up properly, but it doesn't because we're not in the program files directory that actually contains the executable. This is what it looks like when you don't have Python in your path variable. Meanwhile, if we were to change directory to the actual, grab the whole directory here, because I'm gonna need this in a minute anyway. We change directories here and make that our active current working directory. When I run Python dash dash version, it'll work. Oh, sorry, I forgot to switch over to the D drive. So now if I run Python dash dash version, it should work. There we go. So if we want it to be accessible throughout the environment, we need to tell Windows that it's okay to go looking in this path for the executable that we're trying to run. To do that, we need to get into our system properties. Advanced tab. This is just a little trick for Windows 10. And I must say Windows 10 does the uh, path variable very well. So we have two things here we're gonna update. We need to update the path we need to update the path extension. So let's do the path first. I'm just going to add in Python directory. And then we're also going to add in a new directory, Python script directory, because pip is in the scripts directory. Then here, I'm going to go ahead and just add in dot i and semicolon and then dot IW, I think it's dot IW. So, next, we call it okay. Now, that's not going to instantaneously update the path. And you'll look in here and you won't see that it's in here. So if I run, if I go back to the C drive and I run version, it's not going to magically be there. Because that's that's because the path variable is already loaded into this command prompt. So we need to exit this command prompt and open a new one. And now, you should see right about here, there's Python and the scripts directories. So now in the my user, you'll see I'm still in my user uh, directory. We'll run Python dash dash version. And there you go. So that's why you want to have it in, in your path environment variable. It, it basically lets you execute it from any working directory. So you can make your projects directory completely separate from the installed Python. And that will give you a slight edge when you're when you're building things out uh, in a more structured manner, if you will, because you can have it separate from the actual running of the interpreter. And it really is just that simple. Just coming into path and adding it and adding the path extensions. Uh, you don't necessarily have to have the path extensions. It's just something that I think Python actually does for you. Um, give you the ability to just Python whatever. But down here, that's all it is. You just add those add those directories in, and they can be whatever directories you want, but you got to add them in. And you may need to do this with other languages too. You may need to do this with Java. 
same type of deal. You just come in here, add the add the path to the working binaries, to the executables, etc. Um, when I was mentioning not to mess with any of the extra stuff, if you look in here, you'll have the Windows System 32 folder and Windows. These are things that are critical to your system, so I do not recommend modifying a whole bunch of these in if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, and as for adding more, it's fine to add more. Just make sure you get the path correct. I usually recommend copying and pasting the path because it'll make sure that you have everything and you don't risk a typo. But that will do it for me today. I hope you guys found this informative. If you do, please give it a like. If you enjoy tech and science stuff, feel free to subscribe, join the community, pop questions down in the bottom, and maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll make some more videos answering questions, or maybe we'll dive into some code. You guys have a great day.